What's up guys, Pox here. So you know, and I know, why you are here. So why are you here? You are here because your Fallout 3 is freezing. You're here because your Fallout 3 is crashing. Well, I have the solution, and this should help literally everyone. Now, if you do have any issues, make sure to comment down below and ask for my help. If it gets to the extreme point, I can definitely add you guys on Skype and talk to you one-on-one -on -one and try and fix your issues. Um, so, I'm going to try and teach this as fast as possible without confusing the hell out of you guys. So first off, everything, every program, every file that I talk about is going to be linked down below in the description. So if I ever say this file that you downloaded or this program that you downloaded and installed, just make sure that you have done that so right now in the description below download all the files and links that I link you to so first off what you want to do is you want to get to your follow 3 directory how, how do you do this if you don't know you go to your computer you go to your program files 86 steam steam apps common and then go to your follow 3 directory it's either gonna be called follow 3 or follow 3 G O T Y for game of the year edition now this should work on game of the year edition or non game of the year edition this should also work on any operating system so if you're having some issues on Windows 8 if you're having some issues on Windows 7 or if you're for some reason your game is not even working on Windows XP or something like that let me know down in the comment section below and I will try to help you at the best of my ability so first off this file that you have downloaded this d3 d9 dot DLL you simply drag this into your follow 3 directory Basically, I have no idea what this does. It's something to do with the DirectX. I couldn't tell you exactly what it does, but it does something, and it just it, it fixes something. I don't know how it fixes it. It just fixes it. Um, so, uh, before you do this, you want to make sure that you did follow my follow my FOSE uh, tutorial that I uploaded earlier today. And uh, simply, uh, you want to have that done, and then you come to this tutorial. So if you haven't done that already, please go and do that right now, because if you do not do that, this fix will not work properly. Um, so once you have FOSE installed, and you have that D3D9LL, or DLL file, in your Fallout 3 directory, what you want to do is install, or since you already have it installed, because you listen so well, uh, you want to have CFF Explorer, you can have it on your desktop, and if you don't have this option where you right click and it says open with CFF Explorer, you can simply open up CFF Explorer, click uh, click the open button, uh, I think it's file open, or either it's just open, and then it says, um, and then you got to go to your follow directory and select the follow 3.exe. Now you want to make sure that you only change the follow 3.exe, you don't want to change the follow launcher, which is the FOSE, and you don't want to change, change the follow launcher backup.exe. So what you want to do is you just want to right click and if this is not here like I said just open up the program and go to this manually. Uh, open with CFF Explorer and then what you want to do is you want to go to file header and then once you're at file header go along characteristics and below meaning and click that where it says click here. That's the only place where it says click here so just click it and this is normally going to be unchecked so where it says ha app can handle greater than two gigabyte address addresses you just want to check it off so that's going to allow you to use more than two cores on your processor for the game you want to click OK file save overwrite original file yes and exit out of that so now that you've done that what you want to do is set your game to windowed mode uh, how you do this is you launch it up through the normal launcher and you go settings and select windowed mode and uh, then you'll be able to do this next step um, well, one of the next steps. I'm not going to do it right now. I don't know if uh, I accidentally just opened up Garden of Eden uh, Creation Kit, but uh, hopefully I didn't. So what you want to do now is you want to open up your Fallout 3 My Games and also leave your uh, Fallout 3 directory open. So how you get to here is you go to My Documents, you go to My Games, and you go to Fallout 3. And you want to go to Fallout.any, and you want to click Control F and type in B use threaded AI and hit enter. If it's not there, then you can simply just enter them in wherever. Um, but these are the two things that you need. You need B use threaded AI 
equals 1 and inum hw threads equals 2. Now these need to be properly capitalized. I will leave them down in the description below so you can just paste them in. Uh, you want to make sure you do the control find thing first so that you don't accidentally duplicate the code because that may mess something up. So uh, you want to have these two. Uh, as far as my knowledge, it doesn't matter where. So uh, if you don't have either of these codes, I would recommend just putting it below B warn on missing file entry equals zero and above B allow scripted autosave. Uh, so after you've done that, you can just cl click uh, file save and then you can close that and then you don't need this my games thing anymore. So you can close that. Now you can come over to your fallout directory and open up your fallout underscore default dot any. This is going to be your normal any file and you want to hit control F type in B threaded um, be use threaded AI and then it will bring you to where it normally is uh, I accidentally deleted both of mine so I just randomly put them in here um, so as you can see uh, they are put in here as well so if you do have the be uses threaded AI you just want to put it directly below the inum thread so what you do is you just go at the end of it and click enter and it will start a new line but I already have it there so you want to file, save, and close. And once you have that done, you can do the full screen part of this. So uh, once you ha since you have your game set to windowed mode now, you can start up full screenizer. This program will be in the description below, like I said. Uh, you want to refresh, and then you want to start up your Fallout 3 game. Now that your game is starting up, you want to hit Control tab or alt tab sorry and go to full screen eyes and you want to refresh and it will pop up fallout 3 and you want to click full screen eyes and if it goes black or like does something weird in the background you know it works so you just want to move your mouse to the black part and click and as you can see it's full screened uh, I can alt tab out of this game and I can go back in um, it's really nice and basically it, it, this seems to help people's performance and also help people with freezing and crashing um, basically helps prevent it. Um, some, sometimes some people will still get freezing and crashing, uh, very rarely though, and then some people will just have absolutely no freezing and crashing. Um, if you are one of those people, you're very lucky. Uh, with my luck, I will most likely crash on this part, seeing that uh, I've had to re-record this multiple times because like the times that I don't record and test it out, it works perfectly fine and then when I go and do the full video, it just seems to crash. I don't know why. It's just my luck, I guess. It's sort of like the luck I have with my computer. So we just want to choose boy. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to run through this. We got a son, Catherine. Healthy baby boy. Even though I had to ask him what sex he was. <laughs> You're not very healthy, are you, Daddy? That sounded really gay. I'm sorry, but like a, a man should not be calling his dad daddy. That's like kind of a girl thing. That, that's, that's even kind of weird in my opinion. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. Don't speak at me like I'm an idiot. I will end up saving you later on. Oh, <gasps> spoiler alert. Oh my god, my ball out three... Oh my god. Oh my god. Fallout 3 works. Three exclamation marks. Okay. Apparently that's a good name. I don't know. I don't know what this world is, Come Tum. Come Tum. Come Tum. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm slurring my words now. Okay, so it doesn't really matter the customization. Seeing that I'm just showing you guys that it doesn't freeze or crash. Normally, my game would literally freeze or crash right at the beginning of the game. Like, I would not be able to even get through these, this whole section here. Like, it doesn't matter, like, how many times I tried. I could try literally a million times, and I would not be able to get through it. But with these fixes, I'm able to get through it. And if you did all that I told you to do, this should help you. 
So if you maybe missed a step, go back and rewatch it. Make sure you didn't miss a step. Make sure you didn't accidentally do something wrong. Maybe you did. Maybe you accidentally entered something wrong, or uh, maybe you accidentally copied and pasted the thing down below wrong. Um, because this should work perfectly fine for everyone. There you go. All right. So that's pretty much all that I have to show you guys. Um, if you guys want even more proof that this is running perfectly fine, I will go ahead and do a hour long recording and upload it unlisted and link it down below so that you guys can check it out and see that my game is working fabulous. Um, but I'm not going to do the hour recording now, so the unlisted video may not be down in the description below um, when I upload this, but uh, I will try and uh, put like an annotation that it's up. Um, my dog farted again, and I think I'm going to uh, fall over and die right about now because it absolutely reeks. But anyways, guys, hopefully this tutorial did help you guys out as well. Uh, it definitely helped me out <laughs> because... Uh, you know, as you can see, I can actually finally get through the cutscene. Um, so, if you aren't having any issues, like I said, just go ahead and contact me in the comment section below. Or, uh, if you want to get, like, really fast contact with me, uh, go ahead and e email me. Like, but that that's like last resort. Just comment down below. And if I take longer than a day to reply back, which usually doesn't happen, uh, go ahead and and email me. Don't email me right away. If you email me right away, I'm just going to delete your message because I don't like when people don't listen to my commands. But anyways, guys, um, this has been Epoxy. Hopefully this did fix it for everyone. Hopefully nobody does have any issues, but if you need help with anything, like I said, comment down below. I will try and help everyone out, and I reply to every comment. But anyways, guys, this has been Epoxy. If you are a newcomer to my channel, this is the first video that you've ever watched. I do a lot of follow videos, and Skyrim videos and that, and I'm going to be doing a lot more after today, because literally I took a long break of doing Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, and Skyrim videos, but now, today, I'm going to start doing them. I'm probably going to be uploading a little bit later today a Fallout New Vegas mod video and a Skyrim mod video. I'm going to try and do that daily. I'm going to upload two mod videos a day. That seems like a lot for some people, especially my Call of Duty fans. Um, I'm sorry if you don't want to see that. Um, but that's happening. Just because I want to go over all all the mods that I think are good so that I can share them with you guys. Uh, but anyways, guys, this has been Epoxy. I don't know whether I've said that already, but don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.